Hello YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. This is exactly what you should be doing with your arms when you skate. So you're watching this video because you want to know what to do with your arms when you skate. Well, you're watching the right video. What I've done is wrong. But today I'm going to teach you what to do with your arms when you skate. So stay there and enjoy the video. Okay, so let's do this. First things first. The first thing that you need to know how to do it with your arms is where to position your arms in case you're about to fall. So here's what you should never ever do. In case you're falling, never ever put both arms behind. If I'm falling and if I put both arms behind me fully extended, what may happen is that I'm going to hit my coccyx, this bone right here, the hand of my spine, and that's extremely dangerous. You do never ever want to do that. Also, by having your arms extended, you got your shoulder, your elbow, or even your wrist that you can get injured. So to avoid that, there's two things that you need to do. When you're about to fall, always try to put both hands on the same side, always both arms on the same side. By doing that, what's going to happen is you're going to rotate your body a little bit, just like a cat. If you drop the cat here, it's Going to rotate so when you put both arms on the same side what's going to happen is your body is going to rotate and you're going to hit your natural pillows which are your butt cheeks okay that will avoid you from eating your coccyx also never with arms extended you can use your arms as a spring so if i'm about to fall check this out i'm about to fall and i put both arms on the same side and i use my arms to absorb the shock so this is what you should and should not do in case you fall with your arms but now before i even keep on going with this let me just tell you that this video is sponsored by Microskates. Microskates is actually the company that also hires me on a full-time job but they also were kindly enough to sponsor this video, they make inline skates for kids, inline skates for adults, like they make free skates, fitness skates, slalom skates, skates for, I don't know, they make skates for everyone. So that's about it. If you want to check these skates and other skates from the micro line, make sure to check the link on the top of the description, wwwmicro iphoneskate.com now let's get back to the video before i even start telling you what to do with your arms let's just try to understand how our body is designed the way it is in case you didn't realize you have the capacity of spinning with your spine each vertebra that you have which it's building your whole spine from here all the way here allows you to rotate some of the vertebrae allow you to rotate more than others but that doesn't really matter now what does matter is that this is something that your body allows you to do and one of the reasons why your body allows you to do this is because when you're walking your hips rotate and if you didn't have the capacity to rotate your spine and your vertebrae what would happen is you would walk like this and when you would skate, you would skate like this. And this does not make sense. So one of the very common mistakes that people do is when they skate, if they put the right foot in front, they also put their left arm in front. This is completely wrong. This is what you should never ever do. So to simplify things, if you put your right foot in front, you put your left arm in front. And this is going to balance you. It's super simple. You want to walk, you want to look forward, you want to find a way to counterbalance by rotating your spine the opposite way from your hips. It's basically the same when you skate. Again, right foot in front, left hand or left arm in front. Left foot in front, right foot or right arm in front. And that's about it. This is the most simple thing that you need to know. Now, for a lot of people, they still have a lot of difficulty of controlling their arms. They're still trying to understand what's happening there. What they need to do at first when you're starting, if you do not know what to do with your arms, well, let's just keep them stable and let's just keep them here, okay? So if I'm starting to skate by keeping my arms here, these will still allow me to keep my body facing forward while moving my legs and my hips. There's still the rotation of my hips, but my shoulders will stay forward. Without even knowing, you're actually doing these the way that I wanted you, but you're just keeping it short. With time, you're gonna release your 
arms and start doing it right. It's easy, okay? So it's just this. Super simple. What you should never ever do as a beginner is this. Using your hands behind your back, it's something that we see very commonly done by speed skaters, some fitness skaters do it, and this can be done for several reasons. Of course, if you look at the cutting the wind perspective, as a speed skater, you want to have as small of a footprint as you can. You want to cut the wind, you want to have a super aerodynamical position. So skating like these, it's going to be one of the best ones for you to drag less wind. But this can also be used to rest your back because after skating for a while, your lower back start getting super tired. So by using your arms here, you can, by holding it a bit higher, you can somehow rest your back creating a little bit of a comfort position with your arms. The problem here is one small pebble and not everyone is going to have the time to take their arms here. You know, in case you fall, never extend it. Use your arms as springs or find a way to rotate by using your arms. Never extend it. Let's just not think of the scenario of falling. You just don't want to use your arms here if you're a beginner. At first, this is going to help you. Now, how should I put my arms when I turn? If I'm a beginner beginner, I usually say the same. If I want to learn how to carve, I already made a video about these. If I want to carve left, I should put my left foot in front. I should somehow apply less pressure on the front. We'll rotate that. But then, what I can do with my arms is use my arms as if they were like a huge steering wheel. And I'm going to rotate that steering wheel. And when I rotate that steering wheel, that once again is going to rotate my spine, rotate my shoulders and allow me to spin, allow me to turn. This is another way to use your arms. As a beginner, this is very common. If some people prefer to have it with their arms extended, I would like to remind you, in case you fall, do not fall with your arms extended. As a more advanced skater, some people prefer to keep one hand behind their back and just move the outside hand. This is very commonly seen in ice skaters. This is a way to keep the inside shoulder pointing to the center of the curve, while the outside is going to help you to keep the momentum. There's a lot of different situations that you're gonna be using your arm. But as a beginner or intermediate skater, I hope this is also going to help you. As an advanced skater, because I know there's some advanced skaters out there that watch these, you might be super advanced with your skating. You might be doing the biggest gaps. You might be doing big rails. You might be doing a lot of things. There's even some slalom skaters out there. They're super advanced with their toe rolls and heel rolls, but they still don't know what to do with their arms. So I hope to any of you, this video was helpful. And if it was, well, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. You can let me know in the comments what you didn't like about this video so I can try to change it for the next one. And please, I do not want to see you skate like this ever again. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Don't forget why we all started skating. That is because it's fun now. Cheers and see you soon. Look at me being a slalom skater. My new slalom skate moves. I got a new one now, check this. What about that one? <laughs>